I've got a Guitar Hero Special Edition Nintendo DS light that doesn't turn on. When we put it in charge, the orange light displays, but when you try and actually turn on the power for the Nintendo DS light, it doesn't work. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to fix it using some YouTube videos and some previous knowledge that I might have on Nintendo DS lights. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy, Joey Does Tech, and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video. If you haven't seen the live stream that I done last Saturday, you'll be able to see it in the top right hand side of the screen right now. The Nintendo DS Lite that I'm about to take apart and investigate is from that job lot. I paid around about 50 pound for five Nintendo DS Lites, as well as a DSi XL, which you guys know the story of. And on Saturday, we had a look at the job lot to see what was working and what wasn't. This Guitar Hero one was the first of the job lot and it just didn't turn on. I said I'd make a video going more in depth on that Nintendo DS Lite and here we are. I've not done a Nintendo DS Lite specific video in quite a long time and I think this is going to be an interesting one. So buckle up them seatbelts, strap yourself in because this is about as exciting as a Nintendo DS Lite repair gets. I hope you enjoy. I really like this Guitar Hero Nintendo DS Lite. I've just had a look to see if I could find out how many were made, but I think it's a lot, so I don't think it's that rare. And this was in a job lot that I got of five Nintendo DS Lights, and uh, the sixth item was actually a Nintendo DSi XL, which as you probably know if you've been around this channel for for some time, I did recently purchase a faulty Nintendo DSi XL, which hopefully I'm gonna be able to take a look at soon. I done a stream last Saturday, and in that stream, this was the first Nintendo DS light we had a look at. It shows an orange charging light when you plug the cable in, the charging cable, but it doesn't actually turn on. So if I try and open the device and turn it on, it doesn't work. Now, there's a couple of things to note with this. I've tried a different battery already, so we know that it's definitely not a battery issue, and the battery that I tried was fully charged. As well as the fact, if you look at this screen, you can see that there's there's definitely pixel damage or leaking uh, going on in that top screen, so I'm pretty sure the top screen will not work. However, the bottom screen seems fine from what I can see. I was scouring the internet to have a look at some, uh, some videos of Nintendo DS lights that have an orange light. <laughs> Uh, that don't turn on and lo and behold I stumbled across one of my own videos that I'd done back in December which was only three months ago and the fix was to take it apart give it a good clean put it back together and then all of a sudden it turns on I do want to try something before we do that and that's going to be I take this apart I remove both the ribbon cables I put the ribbon cables back in for the top LCD and for the bottom and then I'm going to see if that works just so in the future if I come across another one which has an orange light I know it's a quick fix take it apart reseat the ribbon cables and we're good to go so I'm going to try that on this one it probably won't be the fix I probably need to give it a good scrub with some IPA and a toothbrush brush but let's get into that right now. I heard that Elliot likes lanyards so maybe I can send this to him. And we are just gonna push from the screen up remember and see if we can just keep this in without having to take it out and remove it. So, like I said, what I'm going to do is just really quickly take out the ribbon cables and put them back in to see if that does resolve the issue. So I'll take my ceramic tweezers. I'm going to do the top one first. There we go, that just slides up. Now, everyone knows that this can be a pain to do, so I'm just going to slowly remove it. There we go. And that's the top ribbon cable. I'm just going to inspect it to make sure that there's no damage on it. Because I know that the screen seems to be a bit screwed anyway, so I might need to swap that out. But it's always worth just having a look at the ribbon cable itself. The ribbon cable itself looks fine. I don't know if you guys can see. But there's nothing wrong with that ribbon cable from, from my eyes. I'll also remove the bottom one as well, just to make sure. So yeah, flick that up. There we go. And it pulls out. That just fell out. That one literally just fell out. Maybe that's what it was then. Okay, hold on. There's nothing on this yet, no IPA. I'm just giving it a quick brush. There we go, so that's secured. So you have to kind of <clears throat> almost pinch that. Right, let's just give it a quick test three. So if I just flip this back over, hold the battery in place. Try and turn it on. No. There it is. You see all those lines, those little glass lines? That's a crack. 
stemming from like the bottom here. Just turning the camera on quick to show you guys this. This is the antenna wire, right? This is the antenna wire. I can't get this under the cartridge reader for whatever reason, like it's ridiculously tight. There's nothing, I, I, can't, I can't get it under. There's no room for this thing to go under unless I like yank it or push it through. But then what that tells me is that I'm not gonna be able to get it back. Do you know what I mean? So that's really frustrating. If I zoom right in, you'll see that if I just twist it around and try and get it in a good spot, it just doesn't, unless, like here, unless I physically tap that in as hard as I can, that's not gonna go under, but I'm not gonna be able to get that back through. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get that back through. I don't know if this cartridge slot has been put in because it's it's got a little bend. Is it bent? I don't know. Mm, strange, okay, I'm gonna have to try and do this. I'll test it without removing the, because what I was gonna do is take out the um, antenna and the microphone, because then I'd just have more room to play, but yeah, I'm, it turns out I'm not gonna actually be able to do that, so. Here we have another top screen. This one works absolutely fine. This is from a blue Nintendo DS like that I had. Now I've got the speakers attached to it as well, which I can take off. So let's just try that in this. So I just remove that out for the time being. It's annoying because of this antenna cable, like really frustrating. Okay, yeah, that's plugged in properly. It's just, <laughs> it's gonna be really awkward to test, that's all, because I still need to use this like top shell. <laughs> okay, let me get the battery and see if it was the top screen that was causing the issue. Doesn't look like it, so that's still not coming on. I definitely not, I, I know that the top screen is screwed and I take off this screen as well as the ribbon cable for the digitizer, which is at the top here which is the smallest one on the board. Just flick that up, pull that out. And now all I'm gonna do, because again, this is stuck, <laughs> it's really frustrating. I'm just gonna give the board a complete clean with some IPA and a toothbrush. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Do you know what, right? I'd go as far to say that this board is bent. Can you see like the power bit at the top? So this is where the power switch is, the on and off. That on and off, like just up here in the top right, this looks a little bit bent. So I don't know potentially if that's why this isn't turning on. That would make sense though. I'll see if I can get you a better angle because this is, never seen this before. I don't know if that looks bent. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be really difficult for you guys to see on camera. But look at the light. That's how the that's the best way that I'm gonna be able to project this to you guys, right? See the light here. Watch. I have to tilt it for it to move on. Usually it'll be flat. If it was if the whole thing was flat, the light would be over here. The light's not until I bend it. So maybe we have a broken trace, or a, a few broken traces, maybe. Okay. That's also a potential issue, um, which would explain why you don't get power when you just try and turn it on, but you get power when you plug in the battery. Let's put this back together real quick and give it a give it a shot, shall we? Just giving it a hose down with some IPA. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. It's been put back together. Uh, just turn this around like that. I'm just gonna see if we get anything without opening the case, which I don't think we are going to. So the IPA has not worked this time around. Interesting. Would you look at that, as soon as you put the battery on, it just happens, it just doesn't turn on. I seriously think there's an issue with being able to turn the device on through the switch. I reckon the, the switch is screwed. Yeah, it's a shame that is. So you might be thinking, Joey, what are we gonna do now? You don't have a working Nintendo DS Lite for a Guitar Hero case and it looks wicked. What are you gonna do? Well, people, don't worry about that. I have a package called Nintendo DS Lite Mobos. Now, some of these are working, some of them aren't. I've got one more in here as well, I don't know if this, okay, so this one works as well. I'm gonna go for this one, the one that just has a normal standard W. That's got F1 removed, so this is, this is a donor board. This F1 removed is a donor board. I can't, again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this on the board of this Guitar Hero Nintendo DS Lite because I think the board's bent, so I, and there's not much that I can do about that, I don't think. Anyway, so I'm gonna swap out the motherboard for this one, and we're gonna see if that works because it should do. Top screen is screwed anyway. Uh, so yeah, I now need to, I'm now gonna force, like I said, remember me saying about forcing underneath 
this to remove the antenna wire. I'm still going to be gentle because the rest of the board works. That is just not wanting to come out. <laughs> That's a really, really, really stubborn cable. Now I don't, I, do you know what? I don't even blame the cable, I blame the card reader. I think, I think the card reader is held down with solder only. That was really difficult to get that off, by the way. Really, really tough. Like, for some reason, my, I ended up putting my soldering iron up to 400. Um, and it still took me ages and ages, and it almost looks like they've snapped off. Anywho, we have released the wire. <laughs> so the wire is now free. Woo! This is just on the mat. That looks like a capacitor, right? Same battery. We have the green light, but the case is closed. So if we now open it, we're, we're actually going to see the status of the top screen. Wow! And the bottom screen. Oh dear. This was severely dropped and I think that's why the motherboard doesn't work. I think we know now. Digitizer kind of seems fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and separate the digitizer from the bottom screen. That's good. I wonder if it plays games. I, don't, I've just, I think I've just gone into picto chat. So turn it off. Right, so if I'm, if I'm, a, if I'm a Nintendo DS Lite, I've been turned on. I'm at the loading screen. I press start. Oh, I can't see what's going on. Okay, fine. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to test <laughs> with this game until we actually have a screen that works. So, I think the first things first, we need to remove the top screen. Um, I'm going to keep the speakers exactly where they are, I think. Now, we all know how much of a nightmare this is probably going to turn out to be. You've seen me repair top screens and bottom screens before. I'm not going to drag this one out for you. It's just I'm going to cut to the chase, cut to the highlights, and hopefully we have a fully working Nintendo DS Lite by the end of it. Unfortunately, both of the screens on this particular DS Lite are screwed, so they will both need to be taken out. Now, hold the phone. On the same stream that I had a look at this one, we also had a Nintendo DS Lite the, the motherboard is screwed, completely gone. This motherboard is done for. The state of the bottom screen and the top screen are okay. This one doesn't turn on. This has been labeled number three. And in my notes for this Nintendo DS Lite, I have said, third black Nintendo DS Lite, completely gone. Salvage screen and potentially test to see if it works. I'm going to do that. Again, the video will be in the description for the live stream that I've done with uh, diagnosing the faults on this these Nintendo DS Lights, but just to quickly confirm, this one had a battery leak and exploded, and it was messy as anything. And if you want to check it out, feel free to. Link should be down below in the description. This is the screen from that rotten Nintendo DS Lite. I'm going to have to give it a good clean because that is absolutely messed up. Same for the top. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. So I've just disassembled it. But it's not good news because the top screen, just like even the wires just look so corroded. The back is fine, but the, the actual wire, the wires itself, especially on the speakers, it just, everything looks so corroded. So I think the corrosion has just traveled. So I'm very tempted just to not even use it, but I'm, I'm gonna test it just to see what the status of the screens are. Seems to be in no issues. All right, speaker one, speaker two, picking up all the screws. Lovely. Move over here for two second days. Moment of truth. Do both of these screens work? And if the bottom one does work, do we get touchscreen capability with the digitizer? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Turns on. Okay. That is disgusting, that bottom screen. No idea what's going on with it. Um, it's like... Digitizer works really well. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh man, I don't know what that marking is on it. Can you see the black um, waves? I don't know what that is. Here we go. This is it, this is the moment of truth. Yay! The game plays. Okay, good, so the motherboard is, is a okay. I think the top screen's fine, to be honest. 
No, it's still there's there's slight scratches in the top of it, but you can't see that. I'm going to use the top screen. I'm going to use the top screen. Okay, so that that kind of sucks that we can't use the bottom screen, but it's better than nothing. So this was the complete dud screen that is cracked, etc. I've taken the digitizer off of it because I want to. Uh, I'm probably going to want to use it, but obviously, as you can see, it's absolutely screwed. And I'm just going to do something that I've always wanted to do. So that's how easy it is to cut a ribbon cable. Nice. So I've searched high and low for a bottom screen. I can't find one for the life of me. I've got three top screens, all with speakers, no bottom screens. I'm going to be using this Nintendo DS Lite to finish off the build for the Guitar Hero Nintendo DS Lite. I'll then have to order another screen for this because this one's pretty much good to go as well. Um, but yeah, I'd rather I'd rather have this Guitar Hero one sorted, so then that way it can all be done and put to the side. So I'm gonna take this Nintendo DS Lite apart now and take the bottom screen from this and put it into the Guitar Hero DS Lite. Okay, so I've removed the bottom screen out of this Nintendo DS Lite. So as you can see, it doesn't have one. I'll need to get one as soon as I possibly can. I don't want it sat like this for a long time. So now I have to remove the digitizer from here and replace it with this digitizer, which is a fairly simple process. Underneath the black sticker here, and just slide it down and just follow that all the way around. Very slowly. It just pops off like this. And then we should be able to get the other one. Make sure the glass is clean before we stick something else on it. This is actually coming a little bit loose, so I'm gonna follow that rule and use some double-sided sticky tape to hold this down. I'm probably just gonna go along the top and along the bottom. And there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is just gently press against it where the sticky bits are, just with this microfiber cloth and make sure this all stuck down. Now I do just want to give it a quick test to make sure that the I haven't messed up the touch screen or the digitizer on this. Right, top screen, bottom screen connected. Is the bottom screen working after I've butchered it? Let's find out. Nice. Oh god, Joey. Okay, good. Just the yeah. Perfect, works perfect, sweet. Now let's get this bad boy back together. One thing that I'm also gonna do as well, guys, is I've, I've come to a decision. These speakers, they work, yep, but the state of the speakers aren't that great. There's a lot of corrosion, the wires are very brittle and frail. So what I'm gonna do is desolder these speakers, and I've got some spare ones here that I've salvaged from another Nintendo DS Lite. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna replace them. I think that's best off, so I'm gonna do that now real quick. Bonjour. And now I'm just gonna continue taking apart the Guitar Hero one because we still have the top screen to take out and replace. This is the broken top screen um, and the speakers still work so I'm just gonna remove them real quick because uh, I would still like to use them. I'm actually gonna remove the this bit from the screen because they're always handy to have for top screens. And it's just to, so for example, if I had like a gray, a gray one and it wanted to go in a black shell, then I can just use this for the top screen you see because this looks fine. This is okay. There we go. Speakers work fine. And again, we've still got that little bit of um, like a brown marking on the top screen, but look, for the sake of us actually repairing everything other than that, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to say that's fine. And when we play a game in a second, I'll show you once I've put it all back together that you can't really even see it. That took longer than expected. The R, the R trigger wasn't seated properly because of the bend in the case here. I know it's gonna be really difficult to see, but there's a bend in the case. It wasn't sitting properly and it was wiggling around all over the place, so it became really tedious. I wanted to make sure that I put it back absolutely perfect. Okay, we look a lot better. Okay, sweet. Right, 
Shall I just put these finishing touches back on? Oh, if it doesn't work now, it's clearly something to do with how I've put the case back, but everything is really plush. I think it's one of the best jobs that I've done personally uh, in terms of like a routing cable. You don't really have anyone explain the fact that when you're routing the cables in Nintendo DS Lights, it's so important that you route them correctly because that is what makes these finishing touches so nice is the cable routing all the way around, especially at the top here. And like I said, this was a little bit difficult because of the gap that we have, presumably when somebody dropped it. Hence why the power wasn't working on this motherboard that we've taken out. Just quickly, before I test this, what have I done? We took it apart completely. It had the orange light of death. We tried giving it a good scrub and putting it back together and trying it again, it didn't work. We then saw that the motherboard on this Nintendo DS Lite was bent where the power switch was, which could have meant a lot of things. I mean, the time to repair for me with no experience would have been, I think, years. Uh, so we, sw we swapped out the motherboard, then we tested with the screens that came with this Nintendo DS Lite. The top screen and the bottom screen were both cracked and broken in many, many ways. And I'm assuming it was just one big drop, which is what caused this. Or somebody's maybe stepped on it, which is what ruined it in the first place. Then we tested a Nintendo DS Lite that was completely screwed. <laughs> Uh, that wouldn't turn on at all. We tested the two screens, the top screen and the bottom screen. The bottom screen had like a, a black line going through it, a really weird shade of black that was just like taking up most of the screen. And the top screen had a little bit of brown in the back. I've put that top screen in and I've just, and I think it was uh, like a gray, so I, I had to take that off and replace that. And then on the bottom screen, I've had to take this from a known good gray Nintendo DS Lite because I didn't want to finish the project without this being complete. So I've done quite a bit. Oh, I also desoldered the speakers on this one because they were really corroded and I put some other speakers I had into this. So what I'm hoping is that it turns on. That's that's number one. I'm hoping that it turns on. The hinge, we got the hinge all good. It's all put back together real nice. I do need to give it a little bit of a, a once over with a fiber cloth. I just want to make sure I'm just going to bend this back and make sure that this is working. Please guys, cross your fingers for me. This has taken me a while. This is the part the repair technicians live for. I'm not a repair technician, but I can imagine this is what it feels like. Okay, green light, solid green light. Screens, okay. Good, so far. Now, touch screen, because I replaced the digitizer on this to make this the color black. I, this might have been what was gray. Yeah, sorry, so the bottom screen was the gray one, which was like this, so I had to I had to remove the gray digitizer and put the black one on and it fits perfectly. We've done a nice job there as well. So if I move this up a sec, sweet. There we go, the digitizer works with no issues whatsoever. I, need, I now need to test two things on this Nintendo DS Lite just to make sure that we are 100% working. I need to just test the buttons real quick, that'd be really nice and simple. Um, and I need, to change, I need to test the slot two and slot one of this motherboard to make sure that we're all good for games. So I'm gonna put that in. And I'm also gonna grab a Game Boy Advance game. Okay, so we don't see the bottom one. The magic power, that. There we go, GBA game, Mario Kart, DS Nintendo. I'm just gonna check for the buttons real quick. Yeah, you can't even see the brown, so. Oh my God, I thought it just turned off, but it just does like a demo thing if you don't touch anything. With the top screen, you can't even see the brown marks. Uh, you can only see it very, very faintly. I don't, honestly, you have to proper squint to be able to see them. Um, I think it's fine, I think it's fine, to be honest. I'm just gonna test the buttons real quick. RB works, I'm so happy RB works. LB I can't test just yet. Left, right, that all works good. Yeah, you can see the little brown marks on the screen now, I think, just. LB? Yeah, yeah, sweet. I say LB, I don't think it's actually called LB. Does B work? Yeah, B slows me down. Right, I'm so happy with that. And this all works down here as well. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I really, really, really like this one. A couple of scratches on the back. All of this will be put in the description when I do list it. But this has been a very, 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 in my opinion, successful shell swap, screen swap, other speaker swap, like <laughs> a lot swap. Now there might be a few people out there just saying, Joey, why didn't you just do this a little bit simpler? There's different ways you could have gone about it. You could have done X, you could have done Y, you could have done Z. But to be honest with you, the, the, the longer it takes for me, the better. The more practice I get, the better. I didn't have to swap out the speakers. They, they, they were okay, but 
I think it's just practicing my soldering, understanding the how the LED screens work by taking off the uh, even the black rubber, you know, and the stickiness on the outside. Like just understanding all of these bits is 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 pivotal for the final build of a Nintendo DS Lite. And I just want to make sure that I'd love to master a Nintendo DS Lite TLDR, which means too long didn't read for those that don't know. I didn't know that. I went the very long way around of trying to fix this Nintendo DS Lite, and do you know what? It now works when it didn't before. So that, my friends is a result. I cannot tell you how ecstatic I am that we managed to fix this DS. It was a bit of a long-winded process, but we got there in the end, and I think, personally, it's beautiful. I'm gonna just try and show you the, the brown marks on the screen, if I can, a little bit clearer, because you guys might be thinking, Joey, I haven't seen any black lines this whole this whole time. What are you talking about? You can't really, you still can't see them. I'll make sure that I put all the defaults when I list this up, so including the fact that it was dropped and we swapped out the screens, etc., etc. Honesty is the best policy. I personally, from my perspective, really enjoyed that. I thought it was super interesting to just make sure I got all those little perfections down. And when somebody says to you, oh, I swapped out a screen or, you know, or, or something for a Nintendo DS Lite, and it was, you know, it was really, really easy. There's just some really small, intricate bits that can just polish it off, like just not having any lines around the outside. Like, and those little lines, they get under my skin, right under my, under my nail, under this nail. Look at it. I really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. For me, this is one of my favorite, DS fix videos. I just, I love the whole process. It took me hours, what's the time? This took me about four hours in total, so it took me a long time, but it was worth it, it was so worth it. If you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button for me. If we can hit 30 likes on this video, that'd be wicked, amazing. And if you have any comments, please just leave them down below. My glove is squeaking. You guys are amazing. I hope you have a really, really good weekend, rest of your weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.